So, in this section, India and Japan are going to be talked about from uh, 19th century and the early 20th century. And it kind of helps put into perspective some of the earlier histories we talked about into how things developed in modern times. And by further extension, you'll see it'll also maybe help make sense of things happening right now in some of these countries. So for India, um, thing, there's certain things we want to remember about India. Historically, it was not a unified uh, country. And it, it wasn't easy to have unified. So the idea of this concept of India has been kind of a very politically problematic one. Um, I'm trying to remember who said it, but in modern times there was a politician who might have been Bill Clinton um, as president going to India and he said uh, something to the effect of we're the oldest democracy and India is the largest or like referring to India as the largest democracy and there's a lot of controversy even by by Indians about whether India is actually a democratic but I just want to again kind of point out that now we take for granted there's a country of India, but there's a lot of sec uh, um, sections to to the country that are to this day make it difficult. There's a lot of separatist movements and so forth for their own reasons. So you had independent realms that were connected by commerce, culture, and mainly by the Hindu religion. Um, in my earlier class, we talked more about Hinduism. I want you to really be aware, if we haven't talked about this already, that Hinduism is is one of the hardest religions to define. It's kind of a blanket term for various aspects of Indian spiritualities through the Vedic traditions, through their, their own texts. And so some people might worship many gods and some people might worship just one um, I mean, there's just a wide, wide range of variety to worship that is under the term of Hinduism. Okay, so I just want to make that clear. Um, now, in the 1500s, much of India was under Islamic Mughals. And we remember that. That was something we talked about. We talked about the decline of the Mughal dynasty, I think, or we started to address that, happening in the 1700s. Large parts then came under British India, uh, East India Company. And again, it's something to remember here. We see, if you watch The Secret Garden, uh, Little Lord Fauntroy, if you, um, our, uh, what's the, Little Princess, there's a lot of old movies that reflect um, British activities in India. I mean, uh, uh, The Jungle Book, Wiki Tiki Taffy, um, uh, all there's so many that we you almost take it for granted. When I was a child, I'd always read these old Victorian books my mom would have, or watch some of these stories, and you just always see British people in India, and you just take it like, oh, that's just what they, you know, that's just something like natural or something. So keep that in mind. And um, so now I'm going to stop here, and then we'll go into the next section.